This is a case report of a 23-year-old homeless male who presented with pleuritic chest pain, dry cough, and progressive dyspnea, requiring supplemental oxygen and eventually admission to the ICU. Um, at time of admission, there was concern for bilateral infiltrates. This is pre-COVID um, and even concern for miliary TB, but he continued to worsen despite broad-spectrum antibiotic therapy and um, no, no growth on his blood cultures or a sputum culture. Um, while in the ICU, uh, bronchoscopy was done to try to identify the source of his infection. However, the bronchoscopy samples were also not concerning for infection, so his antibiotics were stopped and he was switched to steroids. Um, he rapidly improved after several days of steroids and was able to discharge. The samples from the bronchoscopy were sent to the University of Washington for broad range PCR testing to try to identify the organism that was the cause of his symptoms. And they resulted positive for batteria mushroom spores. Um, this is a mushroom that is found in Northwest Oregon and elsewhere throughout the world. It is a um, long stemmed puffball mushroom, which very interestingly enough, the patient reported that um, a, a couple of weeks um, before his presentation and around about the time that his symptoms started, he had inhaled spores from a very similar sounding mushroom, long stemmed and a puffball on top that he was um, inhaling in hopes of getting high. Um, and that was really what precipitated his symptoms. So our take home from this was that um, broad range PCR um, with respiratory specimens should be considered for all those with a history of long stem puffball mushrooms and exposure um, to them and a concern for hypersensitivity pneumonitis. This has not previously been a mushroom species that has been associated with any clinical disease. Um, so that is why we found this case particularly interesting.